Hi everyone. So, I have a Dollar General haul. I don't think I've ever really done one before. So, <laughs> let's get started. So the reason why I went to Dollar General is because I needed to pick up more masks. Um, I've mentioned it in the past before that I have like a ton of masks. I basically have like two masks a day. One for work and then one for if I go somewhere after work. The reason for that is because, um, well, that's in the summertime. In the winter, I probably will only do one mask. It just, it's just so hot and humid here that I like to use these um, Hanes uh, wicking cool comfort masks. Um, you know, because your face will get sweaty under those masks, but these really help because it just wicks away that sweat. And I have less breakouts when I use these masks. Now, I have some of those Stark um, masks. I, you know, I'd been seeing them advertised on Facebook back in the summer of last year, the beginning of the summer. And um, they were pretty pricey. It was like $12.95 a mask. And I think I got like, you know, they had that special where if you buy four, you get one free. So I went ahead and I did that. And um, those masks were great, but there is a kind of expiration date, so to say. And um, I notice now that when I wash, actually, actually after I've washed them, they don't smell as fresh, you know? And I'm even using like the, um, I think it's the Clorox um, like sanitizing spray, you know, that you can spray on stuff. Um, I spray that on my mask. Now I have no problem when I use that on the Hanes mask. Um, after I've washed them and they've dried, they smell fine. But for whatever reason, those um, Stark masks, they're just not smelling as fresh. So I need to actually replace them. Um, I have probably about, I'd say maybe 15 of those. So um, yeah, so I decided I'd just go ahead and purchase more masks. Now, um, some people are probably thinking like, why are you buying more masks? You know, everybody's, people are starting to get, you know, vaccinated and stuff. Well, Delta isn't going away anytime soon. So I wanted to go ahead and um, stock up some more so I can throw out the other masks. Now, um, the reason why I bought these at Dollar General is because um, Walmart's not selling them anymore. And that's where I originally got them. And um, the great thing is that Dollar General has these for um, $5. Well, if you get the five pack, it's $5 because they're 50% off. The three pack came out to $3. So they're basically like, a dollar a mask, which is not bad, you know. Um, what I didn't realize when I was reading this is like they're supposed to be good after 20 washes. So about five months, you know, give or take. I mean, that's okay because like I said, um, I wanted to replace some of the older masks. So, okay, so let me go ahead and show. I was happy to see that they have gray because I love gray. <laughs> Now these are great because like I said, they wick away the sweat. These, they've like gone through a couple of evolutions, so to say. So like the very first ones that I had bought, they did not have the nose um, wire and they were a little bit smaller. Now these, these are supposed to be the one size fits all and they fit perfectly on my face. I have a pretty big or wide face, so to say. So some of these smaller masks are just not going to fit properly on me. It's gonna be really tight on my ears um, and stuff and you know. So I tend to keep like two of these at my desk in case I forget to bring masks. Um, Cause I, that's the last thing I'll do before I walk out the door to work is that I'll pick the mask that I'm going to wear for the day. You know, sometimes I'll try to pick, um, I'll try to coordinate <laughs> with what with my outfit. So, um, like for instance, Friday I was in such a hurry I did not even remember to like put the mask in my purse. So when I got to work, I was getting ready to pull it out. I was just like, oh, shit, I forgot to put them in. So good thing I had like a backup, you know, at my desk, which I used every day. Now I, I have some of those disposable ones, but I just really hate them. They. Um, for one, I get breakouts when I use them. Two, yeah, it's even harder to breathe in them, you know, and with it being humid outside, ugh. So, um, so yeah, so I got the gray ones, but they only came in a three pack. I'm really bummed about that. I wish that they would have um, these in a five pack because I would buy more. So I mostly got white and I only was able to find one pack of the black. Now, um, I went to two different um, 
Dollar General locations to get these. Um, I picked one, a pair up on Saturday, uh, and then, actually not a pair, I picked up three of these on Saturday, and then I picked up these two today, the white and the black. So, yeah, so I got those. Um, I also, now I kind of regret getting them at Dollar, I mean at Dollar Tree, because I like these designs better for the um, nail files. Aren't they cute? You know, you got your Monstera and your succulents. So I might gift one pack to somebody and keep the rest. Um, it's kind of funny. You're gonna laugh. But I did find this vintage toys, uh, the slingshot. It's got a real rubber strap on it. Um, I was gonna give it to my nephew, but I'm tempted to keep it myself. So I used to have one when I was younger. And um, I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna use it for because I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna get mad, so I'm just not going to get into that. But um, this seems pretty sturdy. Yeah, um, I don't know. I might just go ahead and just give it to my nephew. Um, Cause I think he has, well, he's not looking for one, but we'd seen a, a homemade one like whittled out of wood and stuff at the craft fair two years ago and um kind of wish we had bought it for him because it was so neat it was like five dollars and this woman was like selling a whole bunch of them and by the time that me and my sister decided oh let's go back and get it for pj she'd already sold all of them so we were really bummed about that because those are kind of hard to find i mean it was like solid you know um i can't get this thing off i'm gonna have to do this off camera so all right what else did I get here? Oh, I didn't know that, I've never heard of this brand called Believe. It's a makeup brand, cosmetic brand. And um, actually, I'd already gotten one of these before, but I went back and got two more. So this is, and I don't know if it's an in-house brand for Dollar Tree, or Dollar Tree, Dollar General, but this is a sheer or translucent eyeshadow prim uh, primer. Now. I don't wear eyeshadow, but I do wear um, eyebrow powder, and I find that it, the uh, eyebrow powder stays on my brows a lot longer when I do use something like this. I used to use the um, e.l.f. eyeshadow primer when it was $1. Now they've raised it up to $3, which to me is fucking ridiculous because it's still the same um, in the same small tube and it doesn't last long and I'm not paying three dollars for that little ass tube where I can get a whole bunch This is a, an 11 ounce and You get a lot more, but this was 450, but I'm you know what? I don't mind paying that much for this because um, For one it's really hard to find eyeshadow primer like in drugstore, you know makeup. I did find um, a tube by um, a tube of it by hard candy over at Walmart, but it seems like they might be discontinuing it because I was able to buy that and I've been using that for a while and then I found another tube at a different Walmart, so I snatched that one up. Um, but it's like, I don't wanna, you know, depend on that because yeah, it's just so hard to find it. So I was happy to see that this brand, um, they just put out and they had this. So I, w I went ahead and got backups. I also got this Believe exfoliating pads because it comes with glycolic acid and sal salicylic acid. So I am breaking out right now because I'm pretty sure that that time of the month is gonna be coming up next week. So I need to, uh, I need to use these because it's always like around, around my nose that I break out and it's so annoying. Good thing you have the mask to hide that. <laughs> okay, moving on to the more boring stuff. I did find this. It's a limited um, edition Lay's the Wavies, but it's the Funyun flavor. Now, my youngest sister loves Funyun. She is just obsessed with it. So I was, we were actually talking on Messenger earlier and I mentioned that I bought these and she was like, oh my God, I, I found those too. But she's like, I don't understand why we can't find it in the bigger size. And you know, she's right. I have not seen it in the bigger size. Usually when Lay's puts out limited edition, they always put out a bigger size, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm excited to try those because I like Funyuns too. I also picked up my favorite um, Lifesaver gummies, the Wild Berries, and 
I decided to go ahead and just try the um, Dollar General gummies. These were, you know, all three of these were a dollar. Um, I did pick up some Welch's um, gummies, but I've already eaten that. <laughs> so that's my haul um, from Dollar General. Okay, so hope you guys are having a great week. Bye.